Hey guys, y'all got Bells here, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2. And today, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing a few Splatfest battles Ketchup versus Mayo. Oh, Ebb and Flow, yes. So, uh, yeah, right now you're seeing footage of me just doing this. And uh, right now, um, I'm using what I like to call the uh, Ketchup on Time set. I know, horrible pun, totally original. Yep, 10 out of 10, do nuts. 100% original copyright, uh, copyrighted by the U.S. Um, by the U.S. algorithm. Do, do, do not steal. Do not steal a lawsuit. Uh, take down videos. Lol. Okay. But uh, in case you're wondering, this set is um, it's just using the the ketchup ink, and uh, I'm wearing a bike helmet, uh, the ketchup tee. And red high horses. So yeah, um, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to see if uh, after this Splatfest, I'm gonna see if I can re if I can replicate the set with uh, pink ink and as well as a uh, as um as well as a uh, uh, another red shirt because I don't have any other red shirts. Like I think I have some pink shirts, but not red. And, uh, yeah. So, something I noticed in this is, uh, well, you, you don't see it right now, but, um, uh, I, I, as you can, I, as you can see, um, you can hear, like, there's, uh, there's a song, there's a Splatfest song, but there's actually, uh, two more Splatfest songs. Oh, by the way, um, I don't know why, but, like, because of how, like, because of how, like, um, it's how, like, the game handles the map, like, the male on the map, like the male looks like uh, milk, and the 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 the, the ketchup looks like uh, annoying orange. I'm I'm I don't know why, but like when I keep pronouncing ketchup, like I feel like I'm about to say tomato because well, like I guess it does make kind of sense because ketchup is made of tomatoes because it's basically just like tomato, like it's just made from tomatoes, so. I think, anyways. I can't remember. Please correct me in the comments. I love corrections. Because then I, I actually realize, oh, crap! I did not got that right! Just like how I died! Perfect timing! Thank you, guy with Empery Splat Dooley's. Um, yeah. So, uh, question of the day is, what team did you pick? I'm pretty sure you can obviously tell. I picked Mayo. I'm just kidding. I didn't actually pick Mayo. I picked Ketchup. I need to catch up on time to all the Splatfest Kings. Right now, I already have my Spotfest King rank, but, uh, and, um, so I already have my Spotfest King rank, and, um, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, we end up, ooh, ooh, I don't know who won, I think Mayo won this round, yeah, all right, actually, one of these Spotfest matches, we actually lost by 0.3%, Still haven't got to that legendary 0.1. I think that happened like to me two or three times in the first game. The 0.1 loss where like you lose by just like 0.1%. Yeah, the, yeah, you can see on the bottom right, you can see better look at my gear. And I'm using, oh, oh, as part of the red side, I'm using the Dually Squelcher since it's the only red thing they have. Because, uh, nothing else red. Uh, okay, let me show it again. I'm gonna go back in. I don't know why, but after like they show you the screen, they uh for some reason they don't like they don't go automatically. It takes longer. I don't know why. I think maybe it has to do with like how team matchup works. Maybe it's because like they have to go ahead of time to find male players. Since uh there's def since there's definitely more male players here than the amount of cake players in the previous one. Cause Jesus Christ, like I played through like at least like 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 almost four hours, like almost the entire four hours of the world premiere, and I only got like five or six matches with cake players. It was ridiculous. And uh, something I noticed is that uh, in the Splatfest Starfish main stage, when uh, when the colors are like blue and pink, I, for some reason they have like a heart. Like they sometimes blend because of like the the night light. All right, right now. Uh, yeah, okay, m m okay, uh, Acid Hughes is playing right now. 
So uh, there's actually more than one Spotfest song. So there's Ebb and Flow, which was a song that also played uh, in the Spotfest world premiere. There's um, there's Acid Hughes and Muck Warfare added. They, they both sound good. Now they've actually been online in like uh, music extension channels for a while, like before the game even came out. I don't even know how they get that stuff. Like I don't even know how they do that. Uh, I've been kind of avoiding them since uh, they've been posting Final Boss music, and I do not want to listen to that. I do. I want to be a blind playthrough, because. Jesus Christ, the amount of people, like, the amount of times I see, like, a glimpse of something spoiler-related, and I have to, like, now I'm like, go in the shower, and we go into, like, the shower, and just, like, and just, like, dose myself with a bunch of water, and then, like, just get that off my brain, and then do something else, like, unrelated to Splatoon 2, just to get my mind off of it, and just, like, try to forget about it. Like, right now, I'm thinking about this, and I'm, like, anxious, like, I kind of want to stop playing. Jesus Christ, like, it, it is so annoying. Like, it's the only thing that's, like, Make me regret the playthrough, and I, and I don't, and that's something I don't want to happen. I don't want to regret a playthrough. Regretting a playthrough is probably the worst thing that can happen, and that sucks. So uh, if you own a YouTube channel, please do not, please I recommend that you don't post any spoiler stuff. I mean, I, I mean, it's not bothering me as much now lately because, of course, well, I just post, I already finished doing my. Uh, last spoiler free Splatoon 2 single player let's play video That doesn't mean I'm completely free of the cha of the ball and chain that is the spoiler from the spoiler community That does not mean I am free from the ball and chain. Oh, I completely forgot. It has point sensor. Ah, okay Ah, I'm an idiot. It's like corner. I feel like at oh my god Yeah, they're definitely using the trick issue. Okay. You know what? Okay, this is probably going to screw me over in future battles, but do you notice this right here? You can actually paint, like, ink that, and then get on the, and then you can, like, explore the enemy base. That's what I've been trying to do, and that, this, yeah, that's the reason, it's like the main reason why Inkblot Art Academy is, uh, is my favorite stage. That, and it reminds me a lot of Flounder Heights, which is also... One of my favorite, well, like, well, it's sort of a mix of Flounder Heights and Museum of Alfonso. It's like two of my favorite stages. Because, like, Flounder Heights is amazing. Like, I, I really want to see a return. I really want to see a return. Like, it's so fun. And Museum of Alfonso, it actually had a similar ish, like, thing. It had, like, it actually had something similar where, like, um, there was, like, a complicated but beneficial way to get to the enemy base. And it was so rewarding when you uh, could actually get to it. it. It felt it felt nice. So uh, yeah, um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, okay, I lost both. That was kind of a disaster. And well, my bike helmet definitely no longer fits the ketchup set, doesn't it? Oh, that's what you get for uh, not finding a um, a pure red helmet, perma red, because uh, unlike the high horses. Communication error. Great. All right. You know what? I'm gonna show you the best part. All right. Confirmed. Marina is a demon. Please call your local police. Also, also, this is totally C versus. Also, this this spot that should have been called Milk versus Blood. Okay, I'll okay, I'll stop now. Bye. Okay. Okay, I'll stop now. Oh, okay, I got friend request. Okay. Okay, I'll stop now, you freaking... Here's the crap.